everybody and how are you? I hope you had a good weekend. Um, I did um, I did have a good weekend until um, I'd got a job to do. Um, my husband had to build me a frame in in my workshop and attach it to my workbench. Only, it will come back down. It's only because um, I've got uh, my sister-in-law wanted a garland around her door. So she wanted it seven foot down the sides and four foot across. I've yet to finish off the top. Uh, <laughs> she came and had a look last night. She absolutely loves it. She didn't want it very wide because she's not got much room. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. She has got into the theme of the candy canes. She spotted me doing some and then she had that wreath and now that's it. She wants more. So I'll turn it round. You may not get it all in because uh, I, if I take the camera off the stand, it may switch off. Uh, by me touching it. So I'm just going to turn it around and move the camera so you can see uh, what I've been doing over the weekend. So one moment. Are you ready guys? There is it goes all the way down to the floor and then all the way up to the top and I've yet to finish off the top and then all the way down that side. Uh, my table is in the way at the moment but I had to put it back because I needed room to do the video. The things left on there on my worktop there are left yet to go on the top. So um, and she's got Christmas lights on it as well. I've not plugged them in. I have done when I was working, but um, I haven't at the moment. But yes, she she wants it. That's how wide her door is in her living room. So she wants it to go around the side and the top of her door. She wants two of them. So that's why I've had to move the camera. I'm hoping I can get it back into position. Well, bear with me, guys. Oh, I've not altered my calendar. But that's where I've got it at the moment. So, she's got a fetish for the candy canes and the reds and whites, the lollipops. Oh, you name it. She asked me if I'd got enough and I said yes. So she wants two. <laughs> so I haven't really had a relaxing weekend. I have been doing that. Uh, so and everything I've put in picks and then things because the garland isn't very uh, wide because again she doesn't want it wide. She's not got enough room and it's got no wire in it. So I've had to come up with an idea of how to get the wire uh, so everything can balance. So I've had to attach it inside around the garland because it does go around twice. A washing line for the, for the support because then everything is tie wrapped on to the washing line. Not the lights, not the garland because the garland wouldn't take the weight. Um, so I needed something what was sturdy. So yes, each individual piece is tie wrapped. So I had fun. <laughs> so again, like I say, I've got one more to do after that. Today we're going to do green and purple. Now I have got this clock. It's flat. It's only about an inch deep. And I went with my neighbours over the road, oh, a couple of years ago, to a car boot. 
I liked it. She, the lady who sold it me said it worked. And I liked the look of it. I got back, put a battery in, didn't work. But I wasn't going to throw it because I knew I'd do something with it. So I've attached it to a wreath and we're going to do a wreath. So what we're going to do, I have got, and I've been wanting to use these, some lime green poinsettias. Aren't they just divine? My favourite colour green, any shade, and I love them. Against purple, it works. It really does work, guys. And I have got some baubles out, some purple baubles. I've got six. Now, that's not like me, but I've got three of those. Look at them, the purple against the lime green. Doesn't that look wonderful? So I've got those. And then I've got those. Aren't they just divine to go with it as well? And I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be fabulous. So I thought, what else can I do with it? I've got these oddments, and again, I've got to get rid of these oddments. Whether I use them, I don't know. <laughs> but I've got my ficus. I've got it in white and green, and I've also brought out the white as well. Because I thought the purples on the whites, <gasps> don't they look wonderful? And then the lime greens on the whites. Doesn't that look divine? So, it may be this, or it could be a mixture of both. I thought I'd get out my light coloured fern, the rubbery texture, which is very, uh, it blends in really well with this uh, lime green. If I had, I think if, if I had the dark, it'd be too much dark because I've got my conifer. I've got a bunch here, but I've got my conifer. And it does take away a, a bit of it. So I think the darkness wouldn't look as attractive. And then I've sprayed these, cut them down this morning and sprayed them. Some grass, I've sprayed them in purple again to go against our lovely lime green. So I've got those also. Now I've also got some purple ruscus that I've taken out and chopped up also to go against our lime green. And hence the reason I've got lime green in here. I haven't got a Christmas ribbon in lime green. So I thought I need a big ribbon at the back in lime green so I thought we'll use the polka dot because those stems are black and that's what's on there so I've tried to blend them in now I also I've took three pieces I could get more if I want more this is off a vine and the lovely little things I can't, I can't remember what they're called but they look lovely sat on the wreath as well and against, if I show you, our lime green. So, I've also got out some berries. I've got a handful. I'll just get some, again, deep purple berries. I'm trying to keep to the theme of deep purple and lime green and some whites. So, for the whites, I've got out, let me take one. Some of our baubles with black stems again with the black on our ribbon so that i thought would look quite effective against uh, the greens and the purples so because they've got a, a silver little uh, berries on i've got out my wispy bits 
and I thought yes so again I've got silver in the bow so I've got to incorporate some silver so I've got out some bits and oddments of silver foliage there's some more on there but I've just got some oddments that I could also incorporate what will look nice against our greens um, I have got one, two, five of my, I'll call them feathers, my feathers. I thought they would look nice. They've got a bit of green sparkle in them on the glitter. When you get it in the right light, you'll spot the green. So I thought that would look nice also again. And then I've only got three out of my acorns in white because we've got white in the purple so I thought we'd get just three out so that guys oh and I've got just some oddments of my petonia I thought what well, if case we need filler so with it having whitening I thought right that would look lovely if I need filler foliage and I did get these out I'm not sure about them we'll see some more wispy bits and they like a limey green or if I say a limey green more like a yellowy green so I thought they may look nice if not we'll keep them out but I've just got those as back up as well so that is what we have got today so Oh, well, let me move the baubles because I will have, a, I will start to get paranoid if they start rolling. Don't they look beautiful? Absolutely divine. Where can I put these? Because I just don't want them to keep, um... let's have a look. Oh, where can I put these guys? Just for, oh, I know. Just so they don't fall out and roll around the, the table. There we go. Don't know why I've got those in there. Um, I don't even know where they go. But we'll place them there for now. So. And I haven't put long tail ends on because I wanted to see the, the clock as much as possible, even though it don't work. So she fobbed me off, but it's a shabby sheet look and I like that. Um, so I thought, let's uh, give it a bash, put it in and let's hope we're out for the best. Right. Oh, my coffee. My son's made me this before I started. Oh, it's a bit warm. It's not very hot. It's like drinking pop. <laughs> so let's see how big. Um, the, the, um, We haven't started yet, have we really? And I'm still, I've got a foggy brain. The wreath, that's it. <laughs> um, is the spruce one. The one that I, I got off my wholesaler and I thought it was on a plastic back. Um, I've left these on. I could spray them actually. Let me see. Because I don't, if I'm using white, Let's get, let's get the snow spray. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh my giddy, aren't we? Oh, there it is. Oh, I can't reach. I want to see if I've got something I can cover it with. I don't want it to go everywhere. Oh, I've got a bag here. We 
Where's my scissors? Let's put an all in the bag. And this is what I do sometimes. If I'm spraying something and it's already on. Cut an all in. And this is a deco style snow spray. Um, you can use it for windows and Christmas trees as well. I've not used it on windows. Can you imagine trying to scrape it off? So. I want it thick. the handles in the way I've got to let that dry a moment just lift that up because I don't want it touching my ribbon. Here guys, let's get some baby wipes to wipe my hands now. They are the biode I can't say it. Biodegradable ones. I don't buy the ones where they don't uh, you know what's the word? Go I don't know, I can't think of the word. So that, if you want to look, of this, uh, that's what I get. That's the snow spray. Uh, but again, I have got, oh, I have got, let me show you. My son got it from his workplace. When I said I've got that snow, I said I was going to do a video of it to show you. PVA, PVA glue, um, it prime seals bonds for use and add mixture and then that and again you get one of those spray bottles you put half of that full of, you, of it and the rest water shake it up and then spray, say, if you wanted to spray your reef, spray all your reef with that and the water. And then once you've done that and you've sprayed it as much as you want, get this and sprinkle it over in a sieve. I mean, you do get one with it, um, but I guess your kitchen sieve would be better. And then just do that and let it dry for 24 hours. Or if you want it a slightly thicker, once you've done that and you've sprinkled the snow on, spray some more of this over the top of the snow and then that will give it extra security. You don't have to put this on again once you've put the second spray of this on. I haven't even opened it yet, guys. I've just put it here out of the way. So... Let's get this. They look better, don't they? I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I do like the snowy effect, but the spray can, I tend to think it just, it goes all foamy and it makes it 
sometimes I mean if you touch it while it's still wet it'll come off and some, that's hence the reason I have that because it doesn't stick as well right let's see you know me guys I like my my wreaths big because if we look at the poinsettias they will take a lot of room up oh look at those so it's gonna have to be this and again I'm going to attach to the spruce you can if you wish wrap a piece of spruce around it if you wish and go like that if you can see guys just once so you've got a bit of spruce left here and then just stick that out and then that will hold on and give you a bit more security is again How many is on the menu? Let me save that one. So I hope you all had a good weekend. The thing is, I had to do that for my sister-in-law because I said, I know what she's like. She would turn around and keep saying, have you done it yet? Have you done it yet? And you know, I love her to bits, but she will do that. And I gave her another eye. I said I could do one for your staircase. That's got a head growing now as well. So, I've got plastic on the bottom. So yes, she, um, <laughs> she says, let me get back to you. Her husband just looked at me. He's as bad as her. She was telling us last night in four or five years, she's had seven Christmas trees. <laughs> seven. Oh my goodness. How can you have seven? She just keeps swapping her mind. It's not through anything in particular she changes a color scheme in a hat in a living room she decorates every year and uh, so everything has to go with the color scheme so <laughs> I'm stick that one Cut this a bit shorter. And she's been searching as well for big inflatable snowman. Uh, at our house last night. Things like that, because that's what she wants.
and also big uh, re a reindeer or things like that to go outside. She's got 4,000 Christmas lights to go outside. 4,000. She is nutty. I don't do anything like that, believe it or not, guys. All I do is put a Christmas wreath up on the outside and that's it. And then um, a garland above my fire and I said that I may be doing one for the staircase. But I don't I don't put lights up outside. It's not that I don't like it. That one's bugging me. I'm just thinking of my electric bill. <laughs> I'm not tight with my money. <laughs> Put one on here and wrap that spruce around it. Now I'm a bit worried about that. I think that one's a bit too too short. Hmm. Maybe I can get something in to go along with it. Let's just have a look at these green and white ones and see how they blend in. Oh, they don't look too bad actually. If I bring them in between. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. I may use these also as filler. I'll keep those there. Just turn it around. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to bring these just slightly in front of the white ones. And when I say slightly, I'm, I mean literally slightly. So it's only about half a centimetre, which is five mil in front. <coughs> Excuse me. So that one will sit there. I just want these slightly shorter. I don't know whether to... If anything, I do prefer my grapevine wreaths, you know, because with these, I get paranoid if it's windy and, um, and they may blow off. I know the glue should help keep them secure, but I just, and plus there's nothing behind to hold it onto. All it is is the spruce is on wire. 
So that's one of the reasons why I tend to wrap them round. Just so the spruce holds it in. Yeah, it's still wet. And one here. Let's use that one. I'm just going to turn this here guys so I have used that snow spray before and by the time I've finished using it, it had cleared, it, it disappeared. That's why I don't really like it much. But the only reason I've gone for the artificial, you know, do it yourself, one, it'll save you pennies. And, uh, and then you can put on as much as you like. One more. The only, tr the only disadvantage is you've got to leave it to dry for 24 hours. But it's worth it. So, that's it with now the green and white Bikersin. I will straighten the bow up nearer the end. Oh my good gracious me. Look at that guys. Don't that add a nice effect, the spikiness. And that's what I do sometimes. If I haven't got a certain colour and I've got it up there in my spray cans, I will spray them. Again, to save myself pennies, uh, you know, I, I get the spray and, uh, and I spray it to make it, you know, to make give it that lovely colour, what I'm after. Put those there. Right, conifer. I've got to have conifer. Right. And what I'm going to do with the conifer as well, I'm going to go now in between the green and white ficus so that will then sit there again just get one spruce I 
because the conifer is quite heavy so I think think um, by just placing it in it's not really going to have much support I'm going to want one under here. I'm going to stick this one to the bow. Just hold that one a second with it hanging upside down and it's a bit weighty uh, before it sets it could slide down so I'm just holding it while it's setting I don't know if you can see it's that I've said this to my husband that framework what I've done for the garland for my sister-in-law uh, it may be in the way when I'm videoing it so I've had to try and make sure that I've repositioned the video. I'm just going to turn it a moment, guys. I must admit, it did feel weird not doing a video over the weekend. It really did. Because I'm a workaholic, um, it just... To sit down, I was bored. <laughs> I just sat there and my husband said, what's wrong? I said, I'm bored. I literally am bored. And I says, that's when I says to him, I'm going to start your sister's garland. My husband put me the frame up. And I want one at the top as well. I hope you, everybody, you've been doing something better than... Uh, you, or you haven't been sitting around, being bored. Right, so that's the conifer. I don't need those, so I'll place those away. I've still yet got... Let's have a look. Because if I play, if you can see that there, and then I'll place another one here, so to speak. And again, then when it comes to, because I can't get it through. There we go. 
I need to bring those, I can't bring those there because of clock. So I need to be bringing these around here. And then when you've got your ball balls, you need to have your ball balls also. Um, and then obviously you've, you've got these, so I may or may not place those in. If I do, that may be up, up at the border there, one there, and then one here, nearer to the outer side. But that's, um, and then you've also got like your berries. So you've got to think about your placement concerning, you know, purple, green, purple. Or, or you could bring your berries, oops, Daisy. Just put that back in. You could bring your berries here to bounce off there and then uh, maybe another bauble there. And then once you've put that other bauble in, you could bring another point set in so you've got it purple green purple and that's how i've just noticed one's come off and that's how uh, if you're placing it that it you know you balance it out and then with the grass because i've also got these as well then place the grass where the white is because it needs to go on the outside like that and again because you've got these you can use these to bounce off also here and that's why you've got to think or you may not want those or you may place a silver uh, eucalyptus there or again you do have your baubles now I wouldn't put the baubles white next to white so I wouldn't do that. So you could either see so you've got these what I can cut up into little bits. You can bring those out as well. So you've got purple, white, purple, white, purple, white going around the outer side. So that's what you can do. Don't it look nice with the green and purple? Oh my goodness gracious me. Sorry, I can't help but sing. So that is how. So let's get our purple. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's position them first because I've only got six. I don't know why I didn't do seven. Oh my good gracious me, there's nothing to place it to hold it in. Oh gosh. And then bring one down here. I can place that somewhere. So then you've got that. I could place that one up there as well. Yeah, that looks more more spaced out properly. So that's where your grasses are going to go. If I start here, so when I do move around, I won't knock it off. I don't know why I didn't do seven. That's what I, what happens when I don't go to when I don't do a video. I lose my mind.
weighty and these are quite weighty as well. Oopsie daisy. That's better. Now the loops that you've already made around certain, you know, your like uh, your conifer and things like that. If you're placing things in near it, you can place, um, you know, the item through the loop of the conifer that you've made instead of keep wrapping everything around uh, this, you know, the same uh, different areas as well. So now I will glue this onto the conifer where the conifer is placed above. I can see. Again. I will straighten the bow up. Let me just take those out. See, now I've got the conifer here and I've made a loop around the conifer. So I'm going inside of the spruce to hold this in, the grass. And I'm going to do the same with that one as well. I use the spruce to make her, to wrap around the conifer stem so I will place this stem inside that spruce that I wrapped around the conifer that one needs to go down a little bit more Manipulate it a bit. There. So we're going to put in how many of these have I got? Our fern. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my good gracious me. I, I just grabbed a load and I started chopping them all down. And I thought, let's get, you know, prepared for the video. piece of rubber on it from the transit that was stuck to the back where they held on all the other leaves. Right, let's place these. Now we're going to go here. Well, that one's a bit bent. Just going to place them there where I want them to sit. I 
I've got a bit of dye on this. Can't get it off. Good gracious me. can't see. <laughs> I just can't see. One at the bottom. Oh, I've missed one. I thought it looked slightly odd. And two either side there. that one there and that one there gosh I hope I can remember where they all are so then that will be like that Sorry. Right. Okay. One moment, guys. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, there was an old gentleman on the front. Um, he slipped. So my son came and asked me if I could help him. Um, it's all right now. Uh, it's not hurt. Um, he just uh, slipped over and just uh, hurt his arm. But he says uh, he's, he's okay. He can make it home. He only lives around the corner. So I'm ever so sorry about that. Oh, right. Um, let's carry on. Um, I want to put these in. So let's get these in. Oh, I wonder what had gone off there, guys. So I'm placing these in. I'm just going to, I'm not placing them, I'm sticking them to the spruce. Uh, I'm not sticking them anywhere else, you know, into a, the, the conifer or anything like that, what I've wrapped around. That's why I'm, I'm cutting these stems really short. I've got that the wrong way around. I put the jeepers up there then. When he slipped so quietly when he came to the door. All he said was, mm, I need your help. So when they say that, oh my gosh, you wonder what's going on. Oh, 
right. So, again, these are just being stuck onto the spruce because they're very light. Here, and just see where that one's going. And I'll we'll place one under the ribbon as well. I can't remember where I started. <laughs> oh gosh. One in there. Have you all done your Christmas shopping yet, guys? I, I've virtually finished. I've just got for my husband to buy. Ew, I'm struggling. And then that's it. I've done. And I've told them this year. I'm not wrapping them up, I'm putting them in gift bags and because they're all adults they said they're not they're not bothered about unwrapping because the paper just gets everywhere and the cat's just jumping it all and um, Marley plays with it and chews it or put it to little pieces and then I end up getting the hoover out on Christmas day so we're not doing that this time. So that's going to be all in nice Christmas gift bags with a bow on. I'm going to do my own special bows. And that's what the, they said they don't mind having. Right, I'm putting these. I've got one, two, five. Oh, no, six. So I'll put the same similar size like I have there at the top. And again, just place it in there. If I can push it a bit further down, that's it. And then I want one. Ten pass. I'm just manipulating these. I don't want them to stick out too far. But these will last, uh, act as the wispy bits. We'll put one there. And just bend those like that. At 20 past. And again, I shall put those where the conifer is.
Oh, my neighbour over the road. He's getting ready for Halloween. Oh, he always goes to the extreme. It's wonderful. I saw him yesterday putting the cine camera up. Getting ready for the children. 10 to and then, or should I say 10 o'clock and then 8 o'clock. He has a cine camera, he puts it up and he gets dressed up. It's, it's wonderful to see. And he frightens all the kiddies when they come knocking on his door. <laughs> right, let's get our... I may only just need three of these poinsettias. I think these aren't glued in, no. Let's glue them in. I like them glued in so I know that they're secure. So if there's any high winds, I don't want them dropping off. Face that one. Oh, I can't remember which one I did. At least now they're all in. Oh, my son's made me another cup of coffee as well. That's good of him. So, what I'm going to do here, because we've got that there, so, oh, please, if I can just put it in and get them placed. See now we've got one up at the top. And then we'll place one around there. Oh my goodness! And then, oh what baubles, because I've got a feeling one, two, three. And then, Oh, I don't know, I like them both. Oh. One. Oops, a daisy. Two. Which one did I use? I don't know whether to cut those cones off because you can't see them. Okay. Oh, oh now then. Do I put one of those down at the bottom? Yeah, and then one there with that. Or do I place one up there as well? I think I'm gonna cut the cones off guys, because again, you can't see them. So let's just see where they, I can save the cones. One. Let's take these out. Oh gosh. Can't see where that's touched to. Two. I 
can either save them or I can reposition them. So let's start again. I'll place that where that one went. That one. position correctly then. Oh! Oh my Gideon! <laughs> That's why I like to get the ball balls in. So it'd be like that. And then you put in set here. Oh, I may need five or four. If I go and get another one, is that one glued in? No. Somewhere around there. These are just placed in. I don't know the two. Oh my good gracious me. Oh, let's get another one. Let me just stand back and have a look. Oh, I just didn't move it. That's better. Five. So, baubles in. Let's get the baubles in first. Because if I don't, oh my Gideon. Right. Every time I, I touch the, the reef, I think, oh my goodness, it's going to move. It's going to move. Oh, I don't think I've put that one in. Oh my God, I can't get that out. Right, bubble number one. I will turn it around guys, I just need to place these and I need them to see. One more, and they're all in safe. And 
and move on at the bottom. And again, lift up my bow and I'm going to place that one. Let me just hold it. Again, I will straighten the bow up. Oh, it's slipping. Just hold it a moment. Let's have a look because if it's still moving, let's take it out. Right, so then we're going to put those poinsettias in. I hope you can see that. Let's get these in as well. They will go somewhere here. Ah, oh, oh, it's come off. Oh, I don't think I glued that one on. My goodness. Let's do it again. Let's see if we we'll better look this time. No, that's better. Better positioned. I'm trying to put them in central to where the baubles are. Down, I think. I'm only cutting the stems two inch because I want I don't want them going through the opposite side and I'm going where I've already been gluing things again I may have to cut because that's squashed up now. So I may have to put a longer stem on, I've just cut it as well. Just 
put another one on. Let's see now where I think that needs to go here. I can't have it there because by having it there then it's going to cover the clock if I show you and the ribbon. So because I've got that bauble down here I've got to bring that down here. But I can't let my mind up. Let's have a look. Whether to bring that flower there and then the bauble at the bottom. So I need to take the bauble back out. Oh my gosh. And put a longer stem back on the bauble. Oh my gosh, guys. stuck to the ribbon. I'm going to have to cut it. Cut it out. Uh. So if I place it and pick back in it think I'll get that glue off that ribbon let's see where the glue finishes it up a bit. I need that to come down. Gosh, I did really flatten it. So. So let's see. So that's going to want to be bent upwards. How about there? Let's hope my calculation is correct. Right, let's lift the bow up. <gasps> oh, have I done it again? No. I've done it again. Oh my good gracious me, I can't not, that one split. Let's get some glue on this one. I can find it now. Take the 
Hello. There we have it. I have to sort that one out. And then we're going to have to place the bauble down here. We'll get there, guys. Sorry about this. Just trying to hold the bauble so it doesn't droop. Just holding it one moment. So as you can see, we've got it like that. I'm going to sort that one out. So I've brought this down here because we've got the bow in there. Um, if we had the bow in the middle, then it would all be around the centre. Um, but because we've got the clock there, isn't it a beautiful colour? So what we're going to be placing, I'll sort that one out. Now I don't know whether we put got our feathers, we've got these, so where that is, where the poinsettia is, I want to be placed in purple, and where the purple is, I'm considering placing the feathers. So if I just place a poinsettia purple. Again, I'm placing before I even put them in. Just so then I can stand back and just have a look if it looks okay. Whoops, a daisy. And the poinsettia is there. And then where the purple is, there, and these aren't in the position as of yet, this is just so I can see what it looks like. One. I might leave that one there. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, it's so glittery. Now something's missing there. That needs to go a bit better there. Yeah, I'm not going to put one on there. <coughs> Excuse me. I could put... A wispy bit there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, two, three, one, two, three. I could have three wispy bits. One, two, and then one at the top. Yeah. Let's have a look at that as well. Oh my good gracious me. We need something down here. Yeah. Let's just have a look. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's too busy. They're too busy. Let's get those up there. No, not yet. So let me get my corsage tape. Because these again haven't got anything on to support them, any wire or anything. So we've got we've got to give it a bit of support. So I'm doing a little bunch of three. And then I'll get in a pick, placing the pick on, and then starting from the last berry going down. So you can't see any of the stem or pick, should I say. I'm not going all the way down because I'm not going to want them that long. I don't want those. That went down there. I may need a pick on that as well. Oh my good gracious me. Brown. And then we'll just elongate this a little bit with it being longer down here than the others. And then I've got glitter all in my cup of coffee. I think the berries behind the poinsettias um, set it off. Now I've just removed it. It looks bland. It looks like something needs to be there. So again, we're going to place the berries in and we're going to stick those onto the conifer stem as well. I have to think then. Oh my Gideon. Right, let me just get this one down at the bottom. Again, lift under the bauble. I can't 
plastic. There we go. So that's under the bauble. And then one behind here. If you can see, look, because there's nothing there, it looks bland when you look at these others. It looks like something's missing. Something to set off the green poinsett here. So I use a darker colour and vibrant because the green is a lime and vibrant lime colour and glittery. So I use a, a darker colour to set that lime off. So we don't need any more of those. So just wrap those up. We may not even need the uh, fortune here either. Don't want those. Put those on the floor. Now, I've once come off, I've got a feeling it's let's try it. I don't think I'm going to use these these uh, baubles because they're too busy so to speak, because I wouldn't want to break them up. So I, they're too busy um, and they're just, it's just too much. Um, and because we've got the berries in already, by placing these in, it's just, again, like I say, too much and too busy. So now because we've got these in and these are only slender, now by placing one of those in, I can find some way to pop it through. Now that's better because it's slender. Uh, and plus it's giving movement as well. So they're better than them. So again, I'm not going to use those either. So if I get another, I'll bring some. Another band, and let's wrap these up. So, we don't need those. Again, I don't think we need the fortune here either. We'll just take one out. No, I think that takes away, yeah, it covers the clock, so we don't need those either. So they can go down there. We don't need those. So we've got these. We may, I may need five of these. So I'll just get here in order to it won't take me long I'll just grab the three more strands and that can gracious me Gosh, the bucket is chock a block with all silver things, not the same. I haven't got enough buckets anymore. Everything's falling out. So if I get 
another three. One, two, and they put nothing on them. Yeah. I can hear something banging. One, two, three. So, we'll place those on. So then I've got five, so then I know if I need any more, I've got them. I wouldn't go more than five. So there as well. Right, so let's have a look. Let's place, I definitely want two down here. I've just got to see if I can just guide it through something. I'd have to, I think, bring these slightly at the, slightly towards the back because there's a gap right here doing nothing. Two. Three. Oh my gosh. Oh. Bring that one. Uh, there's two mutinies going there, so that'll be seven. Oh my giddy hand, guys. Here's me thinking five would be enough. One, two, three. One. I've got some of that are twigs and with nothing on and and some that are berries. Two. Three. So as you can see, at three o'clock and at nine o'clock, this there isn't any. So again, then that in that position, that looks uh, lonely. Well, not lonely, just not balanced. Because I need a two down there at the bottom at five o'clock and seven o'clock, uh, because I needed uh, them gaps filling. And then by me putting those there, then again at nine o'clock and three o'clock made it look bare. So, so that means then we've got to put more in to, to fill in and balance it out. So once I've done these and I'll show you. So by placing Again, I'm not. I have not glued these in. This is just where they go. They've got to sit, and then by placing one here, somewhere around here, I can't quite see. <laughs> we'll just stick it there for now. Let me just have a look from the front. Yeah, so that's now more balanced. That clock looks tiny now. Hmm, it's a pity I've not got a bigger clock. So then I've got these three. So if I place, do I place one there? Yeah, 
You're one in the same, so. I've got nothing to put this one on, so. They may look silly. Oh God, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. They look too silly. So they may have to come. I've not even glued, I don't think. No, I've not glued my feathers in yet. One there. One there. Oh, in fact. One there. And then one there. So then they can go like that. Hi, hubby. Look. So then they look better placed. If I come again round the front. Yeah, they look better placed. Right, so let's get gluing them all in. Feathers. So let's get the feathers in behind the baubles. Oh my goodness. I'm going to place this one in as well. I am gluing up the right, let's get this one in. There's only three of these. Gosh, I am covered in glitter, glitter and glue. Right. Feather one. And that one there. Gosh, everybody's bringing me drinks of coffee today. Is it my birthday? Not till next year. <laughs> right, now let's get these in. So, we'll cut those down shorter. So we'll place these there. And I'm cutting these quite short stem down to three inch. And I'm going to be gluing these on to anything that is where I want it positioning. So there's a fern here, so I'm gluing it onto the, the stem of the fern. I can feel a glue stream. I can't see it. So 
So on this one, if I look under, all right, there's the ficus stem, I'm gluing it onto that. This one I'll glue onto the fern as well, because the fern's there, because they're very light, so they don't need to be wrapped around any spruce. It's only usually the heavy things that I wrap around the spruce. If I just move it round, guys. Again, I'm going on onto the fern stem. See, the, the stem is that long. How long is this one? Eight inches. And I'm cutting it, taking five inches off because I don't want it that long. Plus, it will go through the other side. And I'll glue this one on to the purple grass stem. See, there we go. And that one will be glued on to the fern. Not the fern, sorry, the conifer. Let's get that right. Did I pull that one in? Oh, I've just pulled it out. Oh, silly me. Let's glue it back in. And then that one. And I'll glue this one also onto the conifer as well. Now again, I do have these left, whether or not I need, because I think if I put those in there, then that will form a gap. So then I'm going to want to fill that. These are airy because, you know, so they're not as noticeable. Your main focal point is the baubles and your lime poinsettias. So again, if I place something like that there, you've got a gap here and then a gap here. So then you'd want to put something else there to fill that gap. And then that means adding more things. You see, I don't even, I don't want to put those in either. So I think if I just wrap all this up, Keep kicking things underneath. So they've done. Oh, I've missed one. Come on, kitty, Nora. It just sounds like I'm just throwing it away, like I'm throwing it in the bin. Trust me, it's not that far. It's only about a meter away off the floor. I think this is a meter high. So I'm 
I'm not breaking anything. <laughs> so let me just come and have a quick look. Can you see it? Oh, not very well. Let me turn it around. See my head, everybody. Let's have a look now. That's better. Oh, look at the vibrant green. Green and purple. Oh, my goodness. So, let's get the glue off. I will sort that poinsettia out. Move everything away from that end. And where I go, guys, this is clean up. I don't even know why that was up there, but hey. Up. Let's get the glitter. So, I'm going to leave it at that because I think it's quite vibrant and immediately when I went and stood near the camera I zoomed straight in on the poinsettia and the baubles. Uh, let me just move that one side while I just get rid of all this. So by, by doing adding more it's going to make it too much too busy and too much. Uh, so I think that's more than plenty adding just those in um, because again otherwise it will look too busy and it will take you it will take your eye off of the main focal point which is the center the poinsettia and the baubles sorry guys I've just <laughs> I've just got to clean clean this mess glitter off I do use baby wipes because it's waterproof me my desk I need it waterproof in case I spill anything the amount of times I've, I've uh, put cup of, uh, coffee on it so so yeah so that's uh, what we've done today oh my gosh I can't keep that still and I'm so glad I'm back. I tell you, it just don't feel right when I'm uh, when I'm not doing nothing at weekend. But at the end of the day, what's more important, my health um, or not my health? That's what my husband says. So, oh, let me fluff the bow. <gasps> Oh my good gracious me. I could have had tail ends on as well, coming down. Um, what colours we got? That, silver and red. I don't know whether to put a tail end at the bottom, just to carry on the bow. The clock looks dead tiny. Sorry about that. The clock looking tiny. Let's have a look. I have got oh oh I have spare bits of uh, bow. Oh I haven't got a spare bit of that one. Which colour was that? Oh my goodness, I can't get it off. Let's one of that. One moment, guys. Oh, my goodness. Here I go. So that, that. What was the purple one? The stripy one? Yeah, I've got to stay one of that. I can't remember what bows I've got. Green? Yeah. Right. 
let's just add in i've got a thing spare bits apart from the one i've just put in i've got them in color um my husband thinks i'm um weird <laughs> but i have all the blacks together not all the pattern i've not gone i'm not that um got ocd that much uh, but I have them all in colour, blacks, black and whites, pinks, any any pinks, greens, blues, so on and so on. And I put a band round them. I've got a fetish for bands, I'm sure I have. I've got one that's uh, on its own here, what should be with the whites. Um, so let's, the whites and silver go together. So uh, I've just had a quick look and I've got the stripe here. This is why I say keep the oddments of your ribbon because you never know. Even if it's, I, I make sure that they're quite there's enough to make at least a three inch or four inch loop um so i've got that um i've just found that one loose on my shelf so i've got that i've got the spotty green i can see in here i don't know how much but we'll pull it out and the glitter that I haven't got so what I'm going to do is just cut that that can go back on the shelf so yes I've got them in all colour coordination it's oh that's enough that's enough you see just little bits like that if you want to do tail ends hanging from the bottom save them because that's what they come in for so what colour did we do the first? That, that, then the purple. How much of the purple have I got? Let's have a look. Oh my God. Oh, I've got plenty. So, we'll have one of those. We'll cut that. I'll save the other bit. Again, I could use that as a tail end. So that can go back with the purple. And they're just in a little box. And because they're wire, they bend flat. So that helps. And then the Merry Christmas one. So I'll put that to about here to give me a chance to do another one. I need another tail end so where did I just go with that so that can go in with the white and silver so that's that so I've got plenty to do a tail end at the bottom I'll put that back on the shelf oh I've got another Merry Christmas gosh I never know what I've got me I can get it in I've just found another spare piece I must just put it on I'll put that back right so i've got them in the order that i've got them I've got the bow and i just place them on top of each other let me just cut that one straight
and then I just pinch them in the center like that. Now you can get a tie wrap or you can use a tie wrap and a floral wire. I tend to use a tie wrap and a floral wire but because then the tie wrap will hold it together stronger and I just place them in, bring the tie up to the back, put my floral wire in through the back as well and then pull. Well I tend to, because I've got arthritis I tend to use them to pull it tight and then cut the tie wrap off and then just twist the floral wire at the back so then you can fasten that through now I don't want it that long so what I'm gonna do I'm going to dovetail here. What I'm going to do, I'm, the green is going to be the longest. Then I'm going up about an inch with the purple. Uh, not purple, sorry. Let's get it right. The silver. An inch to two inch with that. Then an inch to two inch with the purple. A daisy. And then again an inch to two inch shorter the, with the thing. So they're all going in size order. So the green's the longest. I've cut the glitter one an inch or to two inch shorter than the green. I've cut the purple an inch to two inch shorter than the glittery silver. And then I've cut this um, organza ribbon uh, an inch to two inch shorter than the purple. So I've cut it an inch to two inch shorter than the one underneath. So then they're all different sizes. Get rid of those. So I'm just going to take... The wreath off of the thing. Make sure it's the right way. Now you can either wrap it around a spruce or you can thread it through to the back. I like to thread it through because then I know if I can feel it go through. I know it will be safe, safely attached. Look, just got to see it now. There it is. And then twist once it's around the back. Twist your floral wire. So it's nice and secure. Snip it off. And then the bit that stick left over from your floral wire, turn it back in because you don't want that scratching anybody's door. So we'll just place, if I place that there a moment, so you'll be able to see. So then now you can curl your ribbon by just going like this, bringing it in. So you've got little ringlets. And going up as far as you like.
So we've got a ringlet there. Or you can just go in a fold it over at the bottom and just go all the way up and then pull the center, grab the center piece and pull that out. Or you can just keep them long. Grab the center. Or you can keep them long like that and then just run your hand underneath. Just make sure that's in the correct position. No, it's not. Is that? Yeah. So then you can have it like that. Again, you don't have to have uh, your tail ends. Uh, you can leave it as it is. Um, Sometimes I have them, sometimes I don't. I do like to see them, uh, especially if I'm doing a swag and I do the, the bow at the top and then I bring it down in the loops and then have a big tail end hanging at the bottom. So, there we have it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. So that's what we have today, guys. Um, I hope you like the colours. I think the, uh, again, like the lime green and purple, they really do bounce off of each other. They're really striking colours. And uh, again, if you wish to have a go with something like that in those colours, give it a go. Whether it be a swag, whether it be a, just a table arrangement um, or a wreath or just a centrepiece, absolutely anything, guys, or even in just in a little plant pot or in a vase, in bright, stunning colours like that, it will look fabulous. So again, um, please uh, subscribe, share and like. And I hope you enjoyed that. I'm glad to be back because I was getting bored. Even though I did the thing for my sister-in-law, once I'd done two sides, I said, I'm not doing no more today. And then I went, I wish I carried on because I went inside and that was it then. I was bored. So... Um, my fingers were itching. They was itching to come back in here and play around. Well, I'm back. So, I'm back for another five days. <laughs> so, again, um, I hope you enjoyed that. And give it a go. Or, or even in different colours. You know, that would be nice. A bright gold, you know, with purple. <coughs> Excuse me, that would be nice. Um, anything like that. So... I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and all the best guys and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, I forgot again, guys. You see, I'm doing it every time, forgetting to zoom in. Right, are you ready, guys? Get ready for the shock. Oh my good gracious me. There's my little clock. It looks little now on the big reef. I really, I, could, I should have put a sign in there or something. I may swap it. Who knows? We'll see. But there's your ribbon, uh, your polka dot, uh, lime green and black with your uh, glittery silver and your stripy purple and your organza ribbon. And there's your lime green. They look gold on here. <clears throat> but they're not, honestly, guys, they are lime green. Your lime green poinsettias and your beautiful baubles, your striking purple baubles with your feathers and your purple uh, ruscus with your deep purple berries and bits of white like your acorn and your ficus and uh, uh, your wispy bits bit of silver to match with the bow as well and again 
It's the Yukon or McConifer. Can't forget McConifer. So uh, my clock that don't, like I say that don't work. So again, I hope you had a wonderful day, guys, and all the best. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye.